Hello everyone, this is Angela at Angela's Garden Sense, and I'm out here in my backyard, as you can see, and uh, I started to put some things into my beds now. Now you're looking at, um, and of course you can see, uh, actually I decided to also uh, maximize production from this bed. These are my peppers. This is going to strictly be my pepper bed. And um, I have, oh, numerous things that are here. The ones in the back, uh, in that back row over there, they're habaneros. But um, you see some, um, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, daytail or dattail peppers. Uh, mostly hot peppers in this one. You see some habaneros over here to the right. Brazilian orchard in the second row over here. The only one that I did not start from seed is this one which is I believe this is a jalapeno pepper right here the big one in the middle. I just bought that at a nursery last week but the rest of these again another dattail or daytail pepper and um then you can see an ancho grande that I have right here and another Brazilian uh, Brazilian orchard. So anyway, yeah, uh, this is going to be my pepper bed. So I'm really excited about that. And as you can see, I have the little square foot gardening thing I decided to start. I saw Letitia did that in barefoot gardening. And I said, you know what? That might be a really good way to maximize some productivity from some of my smaller beds that I have out here. Um, but I am kind of excited about that. And um, um, so it's time that I expand now. Even though we had some warm days last week, guess what? It's chilly. I'm out here with a sweater on. It's kind of chilly and it's been kind of breezy. But anyway, I have put my peppers down. The, at least so far, it appears that the last of the frost has finally come and gone. So uh, we can certainly move on with that. What I'm going to do over here um, in another bed, I'm going to show you. Hold on. Okay, this is another bed. I'm going to, uh, what you're looking at, I'm going to pull some things up here. This is going to become my tomato bed. Now, of course, you're right. I do already have a tomato bed, which is uh, over there behind that wall. You've seen that before, and I put several down. And But I am going to pull up this. This is La Senado Kale from last year, and a couple of carrots do you believe that i may make a video on that and see how they did or didn't do most of my carrots i had hoped i was going to have a whole row over there uh, that i planted last year and these are the ones that actually survived and um I've been sort of clearing out and uh, doing a lot of weeding around here for that. But this is going to become a tomato bed. So I'm going to share that with you in just a little bit. And I'm going to try that square foot gardening thing too, except I'm probably going to put maybe four or five, maybe one in each corner and one right in the middle. But I've got to work on the soil a little bit, so I'll come back with that. But um, I like the concept of at least trying a, a little bit of uh, uh, square foot gardening. And down here, this is going to become an okra bed, exclusively devoted to okra. But uh, right now, um, this is going to be my task for the day, so I wanted to share that with you. But I also wanted to share just what I had done a couple of days ago with my peppers. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. And remember to plant something and always eat what you grow. Take care, everyone. Talk to you next time. Bye.